Uh, throughout my life, both as a hobby and a career, I've been lucky enough to go fossil hunting in some pretty amazing places. Uh, and what comes with hunting in some of these places is some pretty spectacular and special finds. Uh, for example, I've got Megalodon teeth from South Carolina. I found a raptor claw in Canada. Uh, there is a Cretaceous fossil frog I found in Argentina. There's a new species of fish for India. I have found some pretty special fossils and that's not just being big headed, they are objectively uh, pretty cool fossils. And this one I think might be the best of them all. And thankfully I found it on camera. Thankfully it's in a place that means that it is now in my collection rather than in a university or museum collection, at least for now. And uh, I hope you are all going to be as impressed by it as I am. Well, I found starfish, got one here, that looks pretty good. There's a leg of another one there and there's a partial up there. The problem is this block is, um, yeah, it's far too big. So uh, we're gonna have a bit of an adventure trying to figure out how to get this manageable. Oh, we made it. Uh, we've got starfish in there and slightly higher up and then there's the smaller, less complete one is in this block at the bottom separately. Uh, but one hell of an effort by everyone to help me get that back up. Uh, I got it back today when I've been fossil hunting in the same place uh, that I found it. This comes from Robin Hood's Bay in Yorkshire. It is a 190, 195 million year old pair of brittle star fossils. Uh, it's also got a lovely piece of wood that runs alongside and some, what I think are Gryphea uh, bivalves. The two brittle stars uh, are like shockingly well preserved. Um, so you can see all the little segments in the legs. Uh, this is the one that was visible to start with. Uh, a bit of the body here, this leg, uh, and this bit of legs were up here were visible. Uh, this leg here was also visible uh, on next to this piece of wood that runs through the block. Uh, and there is a third starfish that will come back uh, that was found and lived in this top corner. I say lived, <laughs> it was found and preserved in that top corner, but that is still in prep. Uh, they are just stunningly preserved. We are looking at what would be the underside of them if you kept them in the aquarium. This is the side you'd see if they were up on the glass, uh, but it's actually the underside of the starfish. It's the oral side. Uh, and so the center of each of them is actually the mouth and the mouth parts. They also nicely show off the fact that they have this sort of five-sided symmetry, which is a feature of uh, the echinoids, the starfish, the brittle stars, the sea urchins and the crinoids. Uh, so they have a five-sided symmetry, not just the five legs, but the, the shield that is the uh, sort of the body parts and the mouth parts themselves are all five-sided. Uh, if you ever see crinoids from uh, the Jurassic uh, pentacrinoidy sort of example, the name gives it away, penta, it's five, that star shape is five-sided and that kind of just shows off how they are all related. Um, the interesting thing about this is this leg here, it dives deep into the, the block, uh, but because of, if you're thinking about the fact that we're looking at the underside of them, for it to be diving into the block, it's actually pushing upwards into what was the sediment at the time. These must have been buried really quickly uh, to be in this well-preserved state. Uh, and so for that leg to be going upwards makes me think it may well have still been alive and it was buried and it was sort of trying to probe back up into the sediment to try and find a way out from what is now its tomb. Uh, that is just speculation, but it provides some really interesting insight into what was going on. Uh, there is also speculation that this piece of wood here might be the reason that they're here. They got washed in next to it, but because brittle stars are so fragile, I don't think that's the case, but again, I'm happy to be told I'm wrong. Um, they are likely to have been scavenging on something uh, nearby. The, the fact that there are multiple starfish here, or multiple brittle stars, I keep being a little bit imprecise with my language, um, they are likely to have been near a food source because they gather only in groups when there's some sort of food around. Uh, if you've ever seen some of the Attenborough videos, things like whale falls uh, in uh, some of the ocean series, you'll have seen collections of brittle stars and starfish and sea urchins all coalescing onto that food source. So that's my speculation for why we have multiple of them here all at once. 
and why this leg is creeping back up into what should have been the water, but was just the layer of sediment that fell on top of them. It's just, it's truly spectacular. Like, I, I can't do it justice, even with the camera. Like, it just, it doesn't do it justice. Uh, and so I'll get some close-up pictures and try and stick them in as well. And uh, yeah, my biggest challenge now is finding somewhere to put it because this block is not a small block. It's something like 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters and weighs, I'd guess, 20 to 30 kilos uh, still. And this is a much reduced version from the one that we found. Uh, on the coast and so yeah it's it's special and I, I'm hoping I don't have to take too much convincing from my wife to allow me to put it somewhere appropriate for such a quality fossil and such quality prep work again by Sean it's it's just wow <laughs> yeah I've got very little else to say about it just 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 letting you all enjoy it so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this find as much as I enjoyed getting it back and uh, <laughs> yeah, getting to show it off. Uh, what is fun though is uh, brittle stars are supposed to be pretty, pretty rare. There has been one more found fairly recently uh, that I know of. Uh, and if you watch the next video from the next hunt, there may be something pretty special in that one too. I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I will catch you all in the next one.